Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I've got another Dollar Tree haul for you. This is crazy, but I'm finding all this new stuff and I've got to share it. And I'm super excited. So there's that. Okay, let's get into it because this one's got a lot. I'm moving stuff that's sitting behind me. Let's just get this out of the way. First and foremost, my store finally got the vinyl, the Buffalo Check vinyl in the black and white and the red and uh, red and black. Now, no, it's no secret. I don't love this on my cutting machine, but I do love to craft with it. So I did grab several of each. I think I got three of each. They had just put out those like cases of it. Um, I chose not to get the holographic and the leopard print, just not my style, but I did get three of each of these. And I just feel like they're all year round. I don't, doesn't have to just be Christmas time. And I had some Canadian friends tell me that they decorate in red and black Buffalo check all the time. So I'm going to go with Canada. Uh, all right. I'm being silly. I found another pack, uh, eight pack of these mechanical pencils from Zebra brand. I love these. I keep them in with my crafting stuff on my cart and I'm forever using these to mark and measure and I just love having pencils on hand and these are some fun colors. Yeah, the only thing I use them for is crafting. That's okay. Uh, they're coming out with the candy. Now I will do my candy haul later but from what I found so far, these are individually wrapped cherry, apple, and peppermint hard candies which I love these, I think they're fun. And I found the peppermint candy cane or peppermint crunch junior mints. These are for my sister-in-law, she loves them. And then for, I think, oh, I have one more food. I was like, I think that's it, but I have a couple more food things. Um, I grabbed two of these, it's Nestle hot chocolate for my coffee bar at Christmas. I'm gonna stick these in there and if anybody wants some hot chocolate, they can have it. And then I found these scrumptious puff pastries. And I think I'm gonna put some of these, I'm gonna bring these as well. Let me make sure. Yeah, these are good until June of next year. And they are also, uh, there's four pouches with two in each pouch. So that's perfect for a coffee bar. And also that everything is um, prepackaged. I like that too, sorry, I'm getting comfortable. I like that too for, um, you know coronavirus all right i found these milk bones and they're adorable i don't i don't want to open them because they're for luna when she comes to see me but this right here is the size of the bone it's less than an inch by a half inch they're for little dogs oh and luna's a little dog so i'm wondering if she'll like these she doesn't typically like the hard bones but these are so little that I'm wondering if she will eat them. If she doesn't, it's not a big deal, but I thought they were fun. So I grabbed actually two bags of these. I'll have to find the other one. Um, because if she likes them, then we'll have them for Christmas too. If she doesn't, then I'll give them to my neighbor. They have dogs. No big deal. I found shirts. These are Hanes, I believe. Let's see, yep, these are Hanes Comfort Soft heavyweight, long-sleeved t-shirts. What? This one is just a plain front. I wish it was, they had it in navy blue, which is my preferred, but it was too big. And then they had a teal or like a minty green, which I liked, but it was too big. So in the, my size, they had these. I do get them a little big because I ended up throwing them in the dryer, but I'm going to, a lot of times I just wear them to sleep in or for like lounge around the house. But also I grabbed it in gray, same shirt, but this one does have a front pocket. But because they're heavyweight, when I'm working the football games, I can wear this underneath as a warm layer. But I also can wear these as pajamas or just throw them on with leggings or a pair of jeans. I love it. And for $1, I'm sorry. Oh, this is gilded. So the blue is Hanes and this is Gildan brand, which I've worn both. So I will pre-wash those. We'll probably do something with it. Um, I'm a little obsessed, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this tissue. I don't even wanna use it, I just wanna look at it. 
I love plaid, guys. I love plaid. Navy blue plaid, navy blue tissue, white and navy blue polka dots, and then this is like a silvery gray. So probably I'm gonna do a DIY for my Christmas decor that I'm, our winter decor that I'm trying to create for my house for after Christmas. And this is the color scheme that I'm going with right here. This is it. Here's my palette. I know, done, done and done. So I'm gonna do some type of decoupaging, I'm sure. I actually definitely wanna take this plaid and do the melt or the, put it around the candle to burn it. That might happen. But I was super excited when I found that. Now I grabbed these little baskets, which are nice and sturdy. I love them. Uh, not Dollar Tree brand. These are stylish, oh, crystalline houseware. Um, I love the size and the depth. So just as an example, for my coffee bar foods that I'm gonna put in, this is a good size for all of the tr snacks. So what I'm gonna do is spray paint one red and one black so I can put them out. One will probably be full of the coffee stuff. I, uh, we don't have the Airbnb yet. So if it's a, an Airbnb that has a Keurig, I'll fill this with K-cups and my sweetener. If not, we can put regular coffee or anything in here. But I'm gonna spray paint these. I'm out of black spray paint, but I need to go get some more. But yeah, just gonna spray them up. It's not the color I wanted, but the black ones were too big. And I, I want it to look, I wanted this flatter square look. So I grabbed those and all of the treats that I'm gonna be bringing to put out for the whole time. So Sarah can have them. I'll get some treats that I can have. We'll just do it up, you know? I found the pink and I love this. This is the three pack. So you have the matte, the shiny and the glitter. And this is the color pink I'm doing in my bag room just my tiny little bathroom here i'm gonna do one wall hanging maybe the some toy soldiers painted and then a garland and, and then towels my bathroom is very small down here it's just a um, half bath so a toilet sink that's it but i wanted to do it like some pinky minty green so i found these so i have enough of these ornaments now to do pert near anything i want in there i know um, this is gonna be a pretty short haul, I think, but you know me, I can be super chatty, so there's that. I found some of the Jack Link. I had a dickens of a time finding these over the summer. I could not find them. I'm wondering if they were part of that import issue that we seem to be having, although they're made in Wisconsin. I don't know. So I grabbed five of these, and I grabbed in my other haul some pepperoni sticks. Um, I take these when I work part-time or if I'm out riding my bicycle or on the go, shopping, whatever. I try to keep something handy so I have a grab-and-go food source for myself and then I'm not buying things that I shouldn't be eating. Just a way that I stay on track. So five of these are great and I'll be using three of them this week alone. They get eaten, trust me. Not an issue. Oh, I found a Halloween thing that I need to put out right now. Is that not awesome? I have never seen one in Franken, although is this Frankenstein? I think this is the monster, but whatever. I think we commonly call him Frankenstein. It's a tea light burner, but I'm just gonna set him up on my mantle or somewhere to have out. But it is glass. I'm assuming you put no, it's for the light. This is actually for a real candle, like a real tea light. But I'm not gonna put a tea light, I'm just gonna set them out as decor, but I loved it. And I think it was very tastefully done. So here, we'll put it right here. Look, I decorated, done. I just liked it. I found some more of the Ajax, I've used them. I don't have an issue with them, so I did buy, I think, three bags of these, and that'll last me a couple months because I just, it's just me and I only do laundry like twice a week. So I have plenty of laundry tabs now to keep me going. And I think that's fantastic for $1. Yes, please. Um, I grabbed some steel wool. No, stainless steel scrubbers. I am going to be painting there's a chip in my enamel bathtub. It's cast iron under and it's rusting. So I need to get the rust off and then I have the touch up paint for it. 
Um, so I needed something to abrasive to get the rust before I spray paint it. So this comes with two. And what I like is these are individually. Well, that one's not, but this one is. So one of them is individually packaged and one is not. That is so strange. I don't know. Maybe they rust if they touch each other. I don't know. But I grabbed two of those because it's a necessity. You know, life happens. Sometimes I have to actually buy things besides fun stuff. I know. Um, food. I just grabbed some tuna. This is wild caught star kiss chunk light tuna in water. I use it. It's lunch. It's not exciting. Tuna. We just need it. I found this this year and I don't know if this is new. I know I've seen the churches before, but I don't know that I've seen the churches light up. Is this lighting up? Oh. I have not know if I've seen the churches light up and I love this warm glow. I love that. Yes, it's supposed to be an ornament, but it probably will not be an ornament in my house. It will definitely sit someplace, but I love that it lights up and it's just a cute little church. And I know they have the angels and there is a little bit of glitter on the roof, but it doesn't seem to have any fallout and it just looks like glass or frozen ice but it's so pretty it's like a chapel i love it so this will just become home decor it'll go somewhere definitely in a tiered tray um i picked this up so i saw somebody on a channel do a christmas story you'll shoot your eye out sign with this because obviously the glasses and all of that which i thought was fantastic but i'm gonna up a notch and i got the glasses that look like ralphie's i don't know if i'm gonna put it on here or on just a square sign and have this at the top and in the bottom say you'll shoot your eye out kid i'm not sure but whatever it's gonna happen it's getting real glasses just because i thought it was fun and i mean this sign is fun too We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens, how I create it. And a lot of people have done it. And these are strictly blue light blockers. But I think they're plastic, so I'm going to have to draw the crack or cricket the crack. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to crack plastic. But yeah, I thought that would be so fun to do a, a American or a Christmas story themed something. I found, which I think is going to be a stocking stuffer, this is Mood Rescue. Not a Dollar Tree brand, so I'm not sure if everybody will find it in their stores, but it is from EO Products. And this is Roll On Essential Oil Blend. And it is, where does it tell me? Peppermint, orange, and lavender essential oil. And it's a roller, it's a roller ball. I think this would be a great stocking little stuffer. Mm. You put it, like you just rub it on wherever you're, I have two, this is mine. And it helps you. I was hoping it was more peppermint, but I'm really getting more of the orange and lavender, not so much of the peppermint, but that's okay. So this is pretty fantastic and it's called Mood Rescue. So I thought these were fun. I grabbed two, one extra just to stuff in somebody's stocking. So I grabbed that one for me to show you. Um, I'm impressed, Dollar Tree. I have a feeling from what I've been seeing, Advent calendars are going to be the thing this year. Now I'm making my own and I make my own every year and I have for years. And if I can go back and find all my Advent videos, I will make a new one and link the old ones. But this... It's so simple, I love it. It's just felt and Velcro. And your person, whoever, can just move it around. You can also take this off, attach this to something, have his hands peeking over a wood sign. Like you could do this up. Using the bases, the basics here. You could put a wreath around this to give it a little more you know, a little more something. I did make last year a wooden DIY uh, countdown, 
calendar that I'll bring out with um, a little wreath or bow that goes around. I'll show you when I decorate. But I thought this was fantastic and it's done for you. And if you have a little that loves to do these things, this is perfect. I mean, nothing needs to be done or something could be done. Thumbnail. Oh, come on, Santa, get it together. Do we want a thumbnail with Alex's butt in it or should I? I don't know. We're gonna have Alex in my thumbnail. Okay, I found some more pom-poms in the white. I grabbed three. These are great, guys. These are three yards. So I figured white is year-round, and I grabbed another red and green because Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. Basics, but these are definitely something I will utilize and I wanted to have. And then just for some more basics, I grabbed two more of these signs because I love these and I don't have to do anything but pop the back out with these little metal clips. I don't, it's not requiring me to tear this thing apart. And I love that. And I love the beads or I love that you can take the beads off. It's that simple. But I liked these, so I grabbed two more just for my stash. Now, oh, I grabbed these. These are, we're gonna see how long these are. These are glass holders for your glasses. And I know some people use them for um, masks. I think I'm using it in my bathroom for garland because this pink is everything. It's gonna match. It's already done for me. I would just hook these onto a couple command hooks. It's done. I think this is as wide as my mirror. And if not, I did grab a couple extra that I could make longer, but honestly, just hang this from a hook, cover that ends with like a bow or a bulb or something and have this go above my mirror and then I can hang my ornaments from it. And it, I think it's strong enough. I mean, it definitely feels strong. If it breaks, I have two more and I can always just restring these beads. But they're just little pink pearls and I thought they would go perfect in my pink bathroom. And in my mind, my bathroom was, my mirror was much larger than it is. So I grabbed three. Um, but I also didn't know how long this would be. But I feel like this is going to be perfect for that. Now, the last and most exciting stuff. Not most exciting, but the last. And some pretty darn exciting stuff that I found. I'm trying to clean up as I go, guys. It's a rough life I live. Did I show you the buffalo check? I know, I'm excited. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, but I just needed it. That's how I'm rolling this year. Okay, I cleaned up, I tidied. Finally, my store, one store, got these wood cutouts. I got the stars, you get two of each design. So I got two stars, or the stars. I grabbed the hearts because Valentine's Day is coming. I love the filigree. I, oh, actually I did get, I thought I, I did. Okay, I grabbed one of those. These so remind me of the Golden Girls palm trees. Sicily, picture it. I found some Golden Girls fabric and I'm so making a tote bag, sidebar. Then I got two of these because of like the fall leaves the maple and then I don't know what these are but they're fun so I did get two of those and then I got one of the owls because I'm obsessed with owls I love them and these are so fun and they're wooden they are laser cut craft icons and they are wood I'm pretty sure and they're pretty thick too if you can see in there but they'll be fantastic glued on and then and then I got this iron on it says adventure awaits Fun thing about iron-on, you don't have to just put it on clothing. You could iron this on wood or canvas, and it should work. Um, it definitely will work on wood. I have to research the canvas, but you can iron this on a wooden sign. And I'm thinking this is perfect for summer. It is everything. And it's truth in advertising. Adventure does wait. This is glass stickers. I'm not, I'm not sure about what these are, but I grabbed a pack just to play with. They're like a silver, and I think they're supposed to go on a mason jar. 
but I, I don't know if they stick. I don't know. They're glass stickers. Magic on. So I think they just, it also says six pieces. Oh, they're counting each row as one piece. So you can just take each individual sticker off. I don't know if it'll stick, but it looked fun. And then these are rub-on transfers and they're gold. Dandelions, so fun for spring. And then feathers, which again, I think, I think will be super fun. So this stuff here is just to go into my general crafting stuff, um, bins. I don't have, correct, currently I don't have anything planned, although I could reach into the stars. But these are just going to go into my general craft drawers. And when the mood strikes, I am good. And I probably, if I'm being truthful, I will take them out of this packaging and just zip, throw these in a zip bag because I feel like this takes up a lot of space where the little individual pieces will not. I mean, it just comes right out from what I can see. Yeah, they just pop right out. And this is what they are. Yeah, and I feel like these would be really fun with like a dry brush metallic because I'm really into metallics. So yeah. I'll probably go upstairs at some point and um, take these out of the packaging and put them in with all of my wooden pieces that I have that are non non seasonal, so not Halloween's giving this the rest of the year stuff. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed, and you want to little see a little bit of Alex. Alex, hi, Alex. Where's your brother? Oh, dear, him's is. Uh, that's Wellington. He's sleeping in his little bed by the fire. He's inside out. There's Alex. Come here, buddy. He said, oh, I like that fireplace. He's my big boy. He is a big one. This guy here, <laughs> he is 17 pounds at last vet visit. He's a big boy. Yeah. And Wellington weighs 10, which is why I worry about feeding Wellington. Alex is fine. He will eat whatever, but I worry because Wellington used to be 12. And over the last couple of years, I know senior cats lose weight, but I'm just trying to keep him eating. And that's their little toy I knit for them. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoy and you have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.